Hi YouTube family, my name is Vicky and in today's video we are going to learn how to install Jenkins server with the help of the docker and the docker compose. What I will do is I will create this video in two parts. The first part is going to be where I am going to install the Jenkins server with the help of the docker and in the second part I am going to install Jenkins with the help of the docker compose. What else I am going to do in this video, I, I will create the user, I will add that user to the sudo file, I will install the docker, so everything I will do it from the scratch. So if you want to follow along, you can also do that. Now the first thing is we need to create a machine and the machine which I am going to create that is on the Linux. So here I already logged into my AWS account and in the AWS account I am going to create my machine. So from here I am in my EC2 console, here I am going to click on the launch instance. I'm going to select the first one Amazon Linux 2 AMI. I will go with the free tier. T2 will work for me to install the Docker, Docker Compose and the Jenkins server. I'm not going to change anything in the network or the subnet. In the tagging let me add tag Jenkins server. And in the security group what I'm going to do is for now I'm going to open all the traffic. Review and launch and while launching this I will select the key pair My machine is in the process of creating so it is not going to take much time. I'm not going to pause the video Let me go to my terminal and let me go to the same location where I have my key pair so that I can log into my machine Let me expand this thing a bit Okay. Now my key pair is in the download location. I'm going to grab the public IP and I will log into the machine. Let me check the key pair name which I selected while launching. That is the machine one. Default user is going to be the EC2 user and the IP address, the public IP of the machine. Now here I logged into the AWS machine. The first thing which I need to do is I need to create a user. Now the user which I need to create for Jenkins is the Jenkins user. So the command to create a user that is user add, sudo user add and the name of the user is Jenkins. Now my user is created. The second thing which I am going to do is I am going to set the password for this user. sudo password Jenkins and here I'm going to set the password for this user. I'm also going to set the password for the EC2 in case I'm not able to log into the Jenkins server, uh, Jenkins user, at least I'm able to log in with the EC2. So sudo password EC2 dash user. Now the next thing which I need to do is I need to give proper permission to this Jenkins user. Otherwise, what will happen my Jenkins user is not able to install anything because whatever I need to install, let's suppose I need to install the docker or the docker compose, I want my Jenkins user is able to install that thing. So let me show it to you. First, I need to log into the Jenkins user, but this is a AWS machine. The first thing which we need to do is, is to enable the password authentication so that we can log in with the username and the password. How we can do that? For that, what we need to do is we need to go to CD etc ssh and here we have one of the file that is the sshd config we need to update this file sshd config here it is we need to enable the password in this file so how to do that sudo nano i'm comfortable with nano so that is the reason i'm using nano if you are comfortable with vi editor you can use the vi and here I need to scroll down and I need to look for the option where it says password authentication no. Now what I need to do is I need to just change it to yes and after that I need to save my file. I also need to restart one of the service that is sudo service sshd restart. Now I am good let me exit and let me try to log in with the Jenkins user. Now here I don't have to provide the key pair
now it is asking for the password so let me enter the password now i logged in with the jenkin user so here, from here you can see i logged in with the jenkin user and there is one command as well who am i from this command you will check that you logged in with which user now what i need to do is i need to install the docker so the command is sudo yum install docker minus y but here i will get the error message so if i'm going to type the password here it says jenkins is not in the sudo or file the incident will be reported so that means i'm not able to install anything because this user this jenkins user is not a part of the sudo or file now what i need to do is i need to add this user so how i can do that for that let me log into the machine with the ec2 now i logged into the machine with the ec2 user and what i need to do is i need to go to the sudo vi sudo file this is the file where i need to go and here i need to scroll down and i look for this thing so here it says root so i can do the entry here jenkins so first i need to insert jenkins and i need to copy this let me paste it here done and i need to save this file let me save this file and after that i need to exit from here and i need to log into the jenkins user it will ask me for the password now i logged in with the jenkins user so if i am going to type the command who am i it is telling me that it is a jenkins user i need to install the docker so how to install sudo yum install docker minus y this is the command and it is asking me for the password so let me enter the password here i'm not getting the error message here it is installing the docker it is not going to take much time so we have installed the docker the next thing which i need to do is is to add jenkin user to the docker group now why i need to add the jenkin user to the docker group so that jenkin user is able to run all the command which are related to the docker so let me show it to you if i am going to do docker ps cannot connect is the docker daemon running so let me start the service for the docker so sudo service docker start and if i am going to type the docker command one more time here it is telling me got permission denied so that means i am not able to run any of the command with the jenkin user but if i am going to run the same command with the docker uh, with the sudo i am able to do that see i am able to get reply i am not getting the error message so that means i need to add this jenkin user to the docker group so that jenkin user is able to run all the command which are related to the docker and how to do that that is sudo user mode minus a my g and then docker that is the group name and jenkins done now let me try to run this command again i will get this error message now in order to fix this message what i need to do is i need to exit and log in back great i logged in now if i am going to type docker ps i will get the reply so that means my jenkin user is a part of the docker group and jenkin user is able to run all the command related to the docker great till this point we have installed the docker we have correctly configured our jenkin user now the next part is where we need to install the image of the jenkin so how to install the image for that what we need to do is we need to go to the docker jenkins image now this is the official website let me click on this here it says depreciated so this is not the correct one so where is the correct one here is the correct one so we just need to click on that and this is the correct one jenkins jenkins continuous integration and delivery server and the command is this now let me copy this command and there is one more thing if i need to install the latest version i can run this command jdk11 if i need to install the latest version of the jenkins i can go with that but if i am not going to provide any version in the last so what will happen it is going to install the latest version okay 
so let me do one thing let me install the latest version so here is to use the latest LTS that is the long term support let me copy this thing let me enter it here Now what it is going to do is it is going to install the Jenkins image. Again it is not going to take much time. Now I have the docker image and how I can check the docker image with the help of the docker images command and here it is telling me this is the image I have. And if I need more information related to this image where exactly this image is, is stored or something I can then one command that is docker info grep um, so this is the root directory var lib docker so where this image is stored it is stored inside this okay now the next thing is if we want to see um, how much space it is consuming so we can also check that by sudo du minus sh command and we need to provide the path var lib docker so it will tell me okay first we need to enter the password Sorry, it's not SU, it's SH. I'm so sorry for that. SH, yes. So it is telling me this is the size it is consuming right now. This this folder is consuming this much size, and if we can verify it with the size of the image, yes, it's exactly the same. Okay, now we have the image. Now what we need to do is we need to run our container. As of now, we have only downloaded the image. Still need to run the container. So how we are going to run the container? For that, here we have read documentation for users. So let me click on this. Now if I am going to scroll up, here it is telling me how I can run this image. So here it says docker run. After that it is telling me this is the port, this is the port, 5000 is the default port, 8080 is the default port. Where I can run my Jenkins and it is also telling me if I am going to use this parameter. If there is any failure, it is going to restart it. And after that it is telling me this is the image name and if I am going to verify docker images I have the same image with me LTS JDK 11 so I have the LTS JDK 11 the same image I can also provide my path as well Let, let's suppose I need to provide some path inside the docker container for the volume I can also do that with this so this is the one so let me select this one let me copy this okay let me paste it docker run minus p here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more parameter here that is minus d if i'm not going to add that parameter what will happen the jenkin container will run on this window on this terminal so that is something i don't want i want the jenkin to be run in the background so that is the reason i'm going to add minus d this is the port one port is for the container and the other port is for the host and after that we have the restart that is on failure if there is any failure it is going to restart it then with minus v i am telling just create a folder jenkins home just create this folder inside the docker container and install whatever the installation you have to do you have to do it in, inside this folder only okay so let me run this thing now we need to go with the docker ps and it is telling me this is the docker container which is up and running at the moment if i need to log in inside this docker container i can also do that and the command is docker exec exec minus id after that what i need to do is i need to provide the docker container name here is the name this is the name or the docker container id so if i need to provide the id of the docker container i can provide the initials as well and after that bash once i'm going to do that i will log in to the docker container and if i'm going to do ls here here we have the var file right this is the var file if i go inside this var file cd var let me do ls here here we have the jenkins home so you can see jenkins home jenkins home inside this this is the path i have provided that is the reason inside the container it has created that path for me so i can provide any of the path i only need to make sure that the jenkin user will have access to that okay now let me do ls here i have the jenkins home if i go inside the jenkins home i will get all the config file related to the jenkins and here i have the secret file which i need in a minute 
so what i'm going to do is i'm going to log into my jenkins server now from the internet from the google so what i need to do is i need to grab the public ip and here the next thing which i need to provide is atap now if everything is correctly uh, set up then i will get this page and it is telling me to unlock jenkins you need to go to this location in order to get the initial admin password so let me go here where is that folder so var jenkins home then we have the secret and then we have this thing so we are already in the var jenkins home so we are already here we are already till this point then we need to go to the let me go with the cat secrets it's secrets it's s as well then initial admin password here it is here is the password let me copy this thing let me enter it here i don't want to save this thing let me click on continue now for this side now i can install the suggested plugins and everything my jenkins installation is done